And now we're going to chat it up with Scott Cowsey from Sarasota, is that right? That's correct. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself here. Um, what I do is uh, I'm a ceramic sculptor, and what I'm doing is I'll, I'll sculpt a piece out of clay, and then I'll either cut it apart with a razor, or I'll use a hammer and break it into pieces, and then I'm glazing each section separately, different kilns, different temperatures, different processes. In the end, I put them all back together again, like a big, for the big puzzle. Wow! And the reason I do that is a lot of my glazes, like my reds, are made from cadmium, and some of my greens have copper in them, which are not compatible. It allows me to use a lot of different colors on a piece where normally you wouldn't see this many colors. Boy, that's a lot of work, eh? It is a lot. It it's absolutely lot. gorgeous. Well, thank you. How are you doing here? I'm oh, doing well. Doing well. I've been doing this show for about 18 years now. I heard yesterday was really busy. It was very busy here, had a lot of folks, and you know, it's not too bad today either. It's, uh, and where do you get your ideas for the sculptures? Are these your own original designs? Oh yes, yes. Uh, I've been sculpting since I was just a little kid, About I started about four years old, so um, I've been doing this all my life. So sculpting animals is, is uh, it's just been a thing that I do. It's your love. I've done it full time for over 30 years It's exquisite work. Thank you. Well, congratulations, and I wish you the best. All right. Okay, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Give a card. How are you doing? You having a good day? So far. I can do that. I can Now we're looking at the photographs of Steve Weworka. He's from St. Paul, Minnesota. How are you doing, folks? It's quite a distance to travel. No, I come down for uh, three months. Is that right? I'm a quarter Floridian. So you're sort of a half in between snowbird. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's right. So tell us about your work, Steve. How long have you been doing it? I've been a photographer my whole life. I have a degree in fine art photography from the University of New Mexico. I've been doing art fairs for about eight years. If you look around, there's a lot of boats. The whole boat theme is based on memories of fishing with my grandfather. Uh, so they're all kind of that was my seat as a little kid. I don't know if you got that in there. Um, then there's a truck series, car series, all kinds of work. It's all based on memories and feelings and impressions of, of how I live my life. Very powerful uh, images. Thank you. Well, I wish you the best. Thanks, man. Good luck, my friend. Appreciate it. We'll see you on Facebook right, on care. What's Happening in Naples. Got it. Take care. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. I'll -bye. give you a card. Look on the road. Now we're at the booth of, of who? Todd K. Fox. He's from Orlando. 3D mixed media artist, as you can see. Once again, a very talented artist. And speaking of the devil, here he is. Hey, Todd. How's it going? Very well. Awesome. Tell us a bit about your work. Well, my work is um, mixed media, primarily clay. Uh, Raku is the firing technique. And I put it with the found objects. But also in my work, you'll find copper screens that are repurposed from my 1940s house with nails put into the clay, Egyptian paste, and... Um, Boy, you really do mix it up, eh? I do. Fabrics, barbed wire. Wow. Very original. And very graceful, I must say. Your piece is very graceful. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay, well, you'll be able to view your work on what's happening in Naples on Facebook. I'll send you a link. And thanks a lot for coming to Naples and sharing your gorgeous artwork. Thank you. Have See a great you soon. Day. Yes, bye bye. When she's getting texts, I think it's kind of actually like using my phone yeah. number or something. Okay, these sculptures here are by Antonis. He's Lithuanian. Yes, here. He lives in Tampa Bay. There he is in the background, he doesn't like to be interviewed, but his art is very, very unique as you can see. Look at these beauties here. Look at that. It's windy here today. Beautiful artwork, Antanas. at the booth of David Wang, who's a native of Beijing, China. And this is the most interesting art because it's all Western. Very unusual and very nicely done. Hello. Hello. Tell us about yourself. Yeah, I'm uh, David Wang. Yes. Uh, I'm an artist, also teacher. 
uh, I was working in Disney animation for 12 years. Wow. Uh, right now I decided to do my own. Uh, uh, Western art is my passion. Where did you get the inspiration for doing Western art? Of uh, I always like that part of history and uh, I like a cowboy movies. Beautiful. I see, are these oils? Yeah, all original oils. All original yeah. oils. Yeah. The traditional way rendering. That's just beautiful. It's highly unusual for a Chinese person to be doing American art. It's so yeah. obviously Western. Yeah. You've done really good work here. Exquisite Thank colors and just it's really good, really nice to see. Do you live in Naples? I live in Orlando actually. Orlando? Yeah. Well, I wish you the very best, David. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. It's very inspiring. Do you have a card? Thank you so much. Do you have a card? Yes. This is beautiful work. It's all ceramic, right? Uh, no, it's actually uh, a combination of ceramic, glass, porcelain, and stoneware mix. Ceramic, glass, porcelain, porcelain stoneware mix. and stoneware mix. John Cheer from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Is that right? Yep. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself, John. What brings you down to Naples? Uh, weather. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, uh, I have a huge studio. It's uh, actually made out of uh, uh, three different materials. Uh, the center part is uh, actually made out of a uh, uh, special type of glass. And the entire structure is made out of a special type of uh, clay body. And uh, all the colors are specially formulated from our material. Uh, they're all special material because uh, if you think about it, normally glass and clay right. don't mix at all. Uh, in order to fuse them beautifully, you really have to understand and alter the very fundamental material of the coefficient of expansion rate between glass, clay, and glaze and manipulate it down to 0.5% difference in order to create this natural cropping pattern evenly distributed without breaking the strand. Is this a technique you developed yourself? Absolutely. Wow. No one has seen this anywhere. Let's have yeah. a look at this here. Yeah. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I can show you uh, in the sunlight. You can really sure. see the depths uh, of, of the case. Oh yeah! Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. John. Yeah. Okay. Well, how have you been doing at the show so far? I hear yesterday was very busy. Oh yeah. Good. I saw a couple of large pieces. Good. And, uh, um, yeah, this show, I, I love this show because uh, they, you know, they really give you enough space for storage between the booth, uh, you know, a lot of ample parking for a lot of customers. So it's very artist friendly. Very artist friendly and customer, you know, easy find parking. Very good. And, uh, um, yeah, and the quality here is uh, excellent. It's a nice location too in the park. Absolutely. With lots of parking across the street at the mall, which makes it very easy and convenient. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, I, I recommend that uh, people who are looking for something really serious and looking for something quality art. You know, this is it. This is it. Well, we'll do our best to promote your art on what's happening in Naples on Facebook. Okay. Awesome. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We'll catch yeah. you later, John. And now we're at the booth of Mickey Rabbits of Naples. Is that correct, Mickey? That's right. Do you make all this jewelry I yourself? Do. I Unbelievable do. original designs. Thank you. Where do you get your inspiration from? Nature. Nature. Well, Naples is a great place to be inspired. That's right. How long have you been doing it? 50 years. 50? Yeah. You don't look at day over 49. Oh, good. That's incredible. <laughs> I know. And where, do you have a, a shop in Naples at all? Or? I have a studio. A studio. A studio. It's a home studio. And what are the most common elements that you use oh, in materials? I use, I use fossils and um, shells and um, minerals. I love minerals. And uh, anything to me is beautiful. Where do you, skin, where do you get all your materials from? Uh, for years I went to the Tucson Mineral Show, which wow. was like a candy store. Very me. good. And I can find them anywhere. I mean, wherever we are, wherever we travel, I look and find minerals, shops that have minerals. You're a prolific artist. This is a lot of work. Beautiful. Look at that, eh? Well, I wish you the best. I hear yesterday was really busy. It was very good. Are you doing well as an artist here? Yes. Yes. Thank is you. Is this your first year? No. No. 
You're a regular. Yes. <laughs> okay, Mickey. Uh, make sure you go to What's Happening in Naples on Facebook. And okay. The video will be up tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, now we're at the booth of Edward Park. Edward Park, as you can see, there's very large, gorgeous pieces. Look at the colors and the detail. Edward is from Naples. Look at this. Beautiful. Thank you, Edward, for showing and sharing. Now we're at the booth of Carmen and Mark. They're from DeForest, Wisconsin. Mixed media, beautiful. Well, hello there, guys. Hi. Tell us a little bit about your work and what brings you to Naples. Well, we have all mixed media. We work with metals, all sorts. We start everything from scratch. We uh, also work in ceramics uh, using a slab pottery technique. And um, we work our way up from there, different woods and so on. It looks to be like you're inspired by nature. Nature. Nature is a big, nature, a big part of our, our art. It uh, comes through, yes. We do all the harvesting of all the woods ourselves. We have friends that own 40 acres. Yeah. And we, we go out and we spend days in the woods looking for just unique pieces to create artwork. And you, you make these pieces together? We just do. What a collaboration that is. Most yeah. artists are such individuals that don't like anybody else involved. You must have a good relationship. <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> Very good. Well, congratulations on your work. Thank you. And you'll be able to view your, the video of you and your artwork on what's happening in Naples. It's gorgeous work. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Now we're at the booth of Douglas and Renee Sigworth. They're from River Falls, Wisconsin. We're gonna to talk to the male side of the relationship here and get a bit of information. Hey Douglas. Hi there. How you doing? Good. What brings you to Naples? I'm uh, doing art shows. I'm at the Flushman uh, Park art show this weekend. Very good. Well, tell us a bit about your work. I see it's hand-blown grass. It looks like a pretty detailed process. Yes, it's all hand-blown. Uh, the way my wife and I work is we design the glass together. And then I do the first half of the execution of the piece. I layer the uh, clear glass and the colored layers of glass at the end of a steel blow pipe. Once all the layers have been applied, Renee takes over and she shapes and blows the form. Wow, the colors are just gorgeous. Thank you. Well, how am I here? Yesterday was very busy. Did you do well yesterday? Yeah, it's been a great weekend. Good for you. Well, welcome to Naples, and I hope you do well the rest of the day. Thank you so much. Take care. We'll see you on Facebook. All right, you're about to on what's happening in Naples. You're automatically photogenic with that hat. Oh, good. There you go. I think it's the earrings and the necklace that's necklace. And now we're at the booth of Sharon M. Donovan from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, you said you're the inventor of all this. Well, tell us about your invention. Well, 26 years ago, I started weaving into silver frames that I make. And it started with the set that I wear. I yeah. call it my uniform. And this is... The net a result. Shorthand explanation when it's unfinished, you can see the work easier. It's mostly silver around silver, is it not? Yeah, silver and gold. But where do you get your inspiration, though? My customers. <laughs> no, I do. The, they teach me more about jewelry than I ever Oh, do I see, own. right. So you speak to your customers, you get kind of feedback and ideas, and then you go home and create. Yes. Well, I'd say you've done a very good job. It's beautiful Thank work. You. Thank you. I wish you the best. I hear yesterday was a good day. It was great. Okay. Nice hat, by the way. Thank you. And, you know, in response to our conversation before the video, mm -hmm. I'll keep my eyes open for Canadians that are available. <laughs> it is humor. Okay. I'm not that serious. I'm only joking. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, now we're at the booth of George Bragg. He's from Panama City Beach. The beautiful artwork here. We'll have a chat with him here and see what it is that he does and how he does it. It looks pretty sophisticated. Pretty windy, but we'll see how it goes. Hi, George. Hi, how are you doing? Very well. How about yourself? Doing well. 
Tell me a little bit about your work. I see you lose, you use a lot of natural elements, I can see. It's um, all copper, worked with organic elements. Um, I'm just inspired by nature, and um, I love the tooling of the metal with the soft edges of the, of the organic elements. And I see on your brochure that you used to be a machinist, it says. I was. Wow. Many years ago. And what yeah. prompted you to become an artist? Um, I think I've always been an artist, and uh, I wasn't too fond of dodging hot metal shavings. <laughs> so the artist within emerged. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Beautiful work. Thank you. Okay, so you can check us out on what's happening in Naples on Facebook. We'll do a little piece on you, and I wish you the very best. Thank you. Take care, George. Here yeah, we're going to talk with Jack Miguela, who's a photographer from Naples. Is that right, Jack? That's right. Tell us a little bit, a bit about yourself. Oh my goodness, uh, that's 77 years worth of talking. How much time you got? Are you a resident of Naples? Yes, I am. Uh, just about everything you see here, with the exception of a couple, are within maybe 25 miles of where we're standing right now. Let's have a quick look at some of these right now. Yeah, you don't have to go a long way to find beauty around here, that's for sure. Wow. And you probably recognize a lot of the locations. And this is the sculptures of Nambi Okonkwo from Fayetteville, Georgia. Yes, sir. Hi, Nami. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing well. These are fabulous sculptures. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you. Of course, like you, you call me by my name, which is pretty good. My name is Namdi Okonkwo, and originally I'm from Nigeria, but I live in Fayetteville, Georgia, right now. And what, whatever brought you to America? Ah, you can guess. You know, I got recruited to play basketball by oh. Brigham Young University. Yeah. Yes, and that was 30 years ago. In fact, what's today's date? Today is the 19th or 20th? The 20th today. 20th, yeah. Tomorrow will make it exactly 30 years since I came to America. Congratulations. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. You too. Right, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> now we're at the booth of Joyce Slate from Lakewood Ranch, Florida. She's a jeweler. Hi. Hi there. How are you doing? I'm good. It's beautiful so, day. So these are all your original designs? They are. Tell us a little bit about your work, Joyce. Well, uh, like you were yeah. saying, my business name is Mythos. I'm from the word mythology. And a lot of what I have has an archaeological background. Oh. Uh, so I have a lot of historical references, such as... Uh, see this piece it's made with a 4,000 year old cylinder seal Wow which is how ancient people would document trades so I take a, a, a museum replica of that and imprint it into so you're silver. a little bit of a history buff as well yeah, it so sounds everything like everything has a story attached to it There's excellent of, it's from a, a piece of coral I found on the beach down in um, Sarasota where I live and I kind of imprinted it into a mold and then interpret it in pure silver gorgeous and then um, uh, you know, attach the pearls onto it like that. So a lot of what I what I find for materials, if it's not just the raw silver, are things in nature. You know, so silver, silver seems to be your preferred metal, right? It is. Very it nice. Is. I like the cool tone metal. I think it's got a clean, bright look to it. And Gorgeous silver work. Wears Very nice. Thank you. Okay, well thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. We'll have a little video of you and the other artists on what's happening in Naples on Facebook, and I'll send you a link when it's up. Okay, sounds yeah, good. good. Take care. Thank you. Bye yeah. bye. Are you Canadian by chance? That's yes, I am. <laughs> now we're at the booth of Heitman, as he calls himself. Naples resident from Fiddler's Creek. Good day, sir. Hi. How are you doing today? Very good. Enjoying the art fest? <laughs> Wonderful art fest. One of my favorites. Tell us a little bit about your art. Well, uh, uh, I only use uplifting colors. Yes. So when you uh, look at my art, you can't help but feel good. I feel good. And uh, <laughs> and uh, but what I'm really trying to capture in the work is I'm trying to capture that randomness that you find in nature. You know, when you look at natural things, grasses, leaves, flowers, everything kind of falls randomly, and uh, in your mind you think this is wonderful and beautiful. So when I paint, I try to capture that. So all my grasses are always, uh, I always make sure they fall random. All the poppies falling random. Even the larger poppies are, I drop coins on the canvas. And wherever oh. the coins randomly fall, that's where I paint my poppies. Interesting. What I'll never do is this. One here, one there, one there. Because as soon as I do that, it seems somehow contrived. Because so, yes. I really want that random feeling. 
So to sum it all up, it's that uplifting colors and that randomness that makes people just look at it and go, I don't know why I like it, I just like it. That's right. It's inherently pleasing and soothing and natural. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Well, Heitman, thanks a lot for the interview. We'll see you on Facebook or you'll be on what's happening in Naples, the Facebook page, and I'll send you a link. Are you enjoying the show, by the way? I am enjoying the show. Thank you so much. I hear yesterday it was just packed. It was packed. Lots of art sales, wonderful people. Naples is great. I agree with you. Thanks a lot. Yep, thanks. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is the artwork of Carol Ferroni, Naples resident. Okay, now we're at the booth of Victor Yan. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but this art is all hand embroidered. It's beautiful. And Vern is from Toronto. Hey, Vern. Hi. How are you? What brings you to Naples? Uh, I like here because uh, actually I come to Naples for a lot of years. Um, you put it together very nicely. It's very exquisite. Thank you. I'm going to take a few close ups of it here just to show our viewers. Look at this. This is all hand embroidered. Can you believe that? Look at this. Thank you, Vern. You're welcome. Thank you. Now we're at the booth of Ben Ben Foster from Wyoming, who does these gorgeous bronze sculptures. Look at this. Whew. And speaking of the fellow, here he is. Hey Ben. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing phenomenal. It's a great day out here. Yes, it is. And Tell us a little bit about your work. I see you're inspired by nature, that's for sure. Absolutely, it's all around here, so we're in a great place for it. And um, I'm from originally from Wyoming, and I come here during the winter, so we can enjoy the wildlife in Wyoming as well as here. So. It's bronze, I see. Can you tell us a little bit how you go about making one of these? Yeah, they're all limited edition bronzes, so I, uh, I sculpt in clay, right? and then we'll mold that, and then we'll take those molds to the foundry and we'll cast it in bronze using a lost wax process. So do you have a studio? I do. It, I, I, my main studio is in Wyoming, and right. I'll do a little bit of work here, but mostly meeting with people and, and selling work. Yeah. How did you do yesterday here? It was really crowded. It was really good. It was a great show. Yeah. And also, the people that, op that, that organize this particular art fest seem to be know what they're doing. They're very welcoming to the artists themselves and absolutely. to the people who come. They take good care of the artists here. That's it's, important, it's isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's a great community. Everybody helps each other out. Well, thanks a lot for your contribution. I hope you do well. Thank you very much. We'll see much. you on the internet. All right. Take bye care. bye. Well, there's not much of a crowd today, but it's still a lovely day. And the artists that I've met here are very, very friendly and so talented. I'd like to thank them all for coming to Art Fest in Naples. Today is January 20th, 2019. Maybe we'll see you next year. Bye-bye.